Well, for this segment of WeatherWise, I wanted to go over some phenomena in the upper atmosphere. Speaking of jets, sprites, and elves. No, not these types. These types. Let's take a closer look. For each of these, we need to start with a large and very strong thunderstorm that provides enough energy to see these phenomena. We'll begin with red sprites, which appear above thunderstorms, but not all thunderstorms provide the proper environment to get them. So, above these storms, in the lowest level of the ionosphere, about 37 to 59 miles above the Earth's surface, we'll see sprites. Scientists have recently done studies that show that plasma irregularities are needed in that area of the ionosphere for sprites to form. Now, sprites are barely detectable to the human eye as they're only around for a few milliseconds, but luckily, slow motion cameras can capture them and they tend to look like red orange jellyfish. Another unique thing can happen at the top of a highly charged thunderstorm, and it's called a blue jet. Blue jets are seen as cones that eject from the top of thunderstorms. These cones are quite narrow with a 15 degree width, but are very fast with a vertical speed of Mach 300 or 223,000 miles per hour. Now, these jets only last for a few tenths of a second, and scientists really don't know how they form. That then leads us to emission of light and very low frequency perturbations due to electromagnetic pulse sources, or much simply said, elves. These look like huge donuts that form above those same highly charged thunderstorms. They are caused by electromagnetic pulses produced by lightning strikes. And research shows that the brightness of these elves depend on the peak current and the return lightning strike. So the next time you hear that term sprites, jets, or elves, think of these upper atmospheric phenomena.